Hey guys, so I'm back in St. Andrews, and I had a fantastic trip to Belgium and the Netherlands. They're two beautiful countries, and uh, I, I don't know, it was, just, it was really great to be able to explore that a bit. And of that, I just feel very proud that I did this trip, because me and my friend planned this all on our own, we booked everything by ourselves, we got there on our own, and it was just a really good experience to to travel, well, I guess not by myself because I was with my friend, but, you know, no, without having any adults there, and, you know, nothing disastrous happened, we didn't get lost, we didn't get on the wrong train, which is kind of a miracle, but, it, you know, whatever, we just survived and had a good time, and so that was just really good experience. Um, yeah, so here's some of my footage from my trip. I apologize if it's hard to, to hear me over the wind. Hey guys, so I'm in Bruges, Belgium. Uh, it's actually bitterly cold. I don't know if you can tell, but it's snowing, and it's been snowing pretty much our entire time here. But besides that, this has been really great. It's been a good trip so far. Bruges is beautiful. I love it here. Um, it's it's very medieval. I think it's supposed to be colorful when it's sunny, but it's not sunny, so I can't tell you for sure. Uh, it's also the pretty much the chocolate capital of the world, which makes me very happy. Um, I've got a very big bag of chocolate that I'm bringing back. Because here's, here's just an example. Look at that chocolate. Look at the bunny! It's a bunny. I'm excited. Yes. And we also have a chocolate chicken. I could not even care. So yeah, this has been good. Um, this is actually our last day in Bruges. We're about to go catch a train to Brussels. So we'll see how that is. Talk to you guys then. Bye. Hey guys, so we made it to Brussels. And this is the main square. Um, also known as uh, Grand Place. Uh, it's giant and full of tourists, but it's okay. Um, that's the museum in front of us. I'm not entirely sure what these buildings are. used to be Town Hall, and it looks kind of like a cathedral, and it's giant, and the decorations are kind of incredible. Let's see if I can zoom in on stuff. Yeah. So it's cool. It's pretty crowded, even though it's still really cold here, and there's snow everywhere. But Brussels is a really cool city, so we go see what else there is. Alright, so we're going to go get waffles now. Bye! Hey y'all! So I'm inside now and not totally freezing, so this is going to be more of a comprehensive video than my last two. Yeah, so I'm still in Brussels and it's been really great. Um, yeah, we got in this afternoon and just spent that day, you know, the time wandering around. You saw my last video that I was at what they call a Grand Place, or Grand Place, I think I said it in French, something like that, which again was the main square, which was very cool. and. Um, yeah, we were just wandering around in central Brussels this afternoon. Uh, we found a Tintin shop, which was awesome. We got this. Yay for Tintin! It was adorable. It had just a bunch of merchandise in it, old, um, you know, like books and postcards and t shirts that I really wanted, but they were really expensive. I couldn't justify buying one, even though they were really cute. But anyway, um, but yeah, the Tintin shop was cool, and they had some. Some like a film team there. I don't know what they were doing. They were speaking in French, but that was cool. Um, yeah, and there are lots of murals in Brussels, and especially in the central area we were where we were. They were marked on the map we had, and so we wandered around and found all these murals, and they were really cool. And there was one Tintin themed, which was really neat, and just other really colorful, really artistic ones, and that was really cool. Um, so we're back our hostel now. Um, just hanging out. We don't have any plans for tonight. This is unfortunately our last, or first and only night in Brussels. We're heading back to Amsterdam tomorrow to go see things that we didn't see the first time we were there. Um, but Brussels has been really great and I'm definitely gonna have to come back to see more of it. Hey guys, so I'm back in Amsterdam. This is unfortunately our last day, but we don't leave till tonight, so we've got all today to finish looking at stuff. Uh, right now we are in a uh, vocal park, which is kind of like um, Central Park of Amsterdam.
Amsterdam and it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, for once, our last day of the trip, we actually have sunny weather. It's not any warmer, it's still warmer. It's still really, really cold though. But at least there's sun, so we came out here to enjoy it a bit. Um, let's see, we're gonna hit, ooh, I don't fall off the log, sorry. <laughs> we're gonna hit the flower market right now, which should be really interesting. And then after that, we're gonna go see the Anne Frank house and hopefully it won't be too long. And then we're gonna catch our train back to Edinburgh. So that's it, bye guys. So I guess I'll just say some of my favorite things about each place. First of all, Amsterdam. Uh, my favorite thing, I think, was the canals. They're everywhere and they were absolutely beautiful, especially our last day when the sun was out and the sun and, you know, shining on the water. And they just have these you know, stone bridges going over them. And there's literally canals everywhere. And I don't know, they're, just, they're beautiful and very unique. And I don't know, it's just really cool to see them. And Alexander, I tried the um, french fries with the peanut butter sauce, or peanut sauce, whatever it was that your friend suggested. And it was actually pretty good. I mean, the, chip, uh, the french fries themselves were amazing, because they make them on the spot. But yeah, the peanut butter sauce was interesting. But I'm glad I tried it. I think my favorite part about Bruges was the chocolate. Because I think that just it made the town very unique. And the chocolate shops literally everywhere. Like, you just go down a street and there's like five on each side and when my friend and I were trying to, you know, figure out which one to go to, we just couldn't pick. We went on this huge chocolate hunt I, um, when we were there, which was really fun. And we just we were just on this one street and we went to like five different shops. It was really cool. And I mean of course the chocolate's amazing and we went to this chocolate museum that was really cool. And and then just overall Bruges is this beautiful little medieval town. And it was really easy to walk around, and it was kind of a nice mix since Amsterdam and Brussels are two you know, very big cities that we had to use you know, either an underground system or a tram system to get places, so that was cool. And then Brussels. First of all, the waffles are amazing. You know, Belgium is also famous for their waffles, and you know we got one there. Mine had Nutella on it. It was just really, really good, and it was warm, which was nice. And I also thought the Tintin stuff was really cute. Apparently we didn't even scratch the surface of tinted stuff, um, but it was cool because we walked when we were in the train station. They have this big um, kind of a kind of a mural, I guess, on the wall with Tintin holding onto a train, and then with the signature of or the name of what's his name, Hergé or something. So it's cool. It was just very part, much part of the atmosphere and. Tintin is pretty amazing, so I'm definitely going to have to go back and go discover more of this Tintin stuff. I've also actually spent the last couple days in Edinburgh. I didn't come immediately back to St. Andrews because I don't know nobody's here and I didn't feel like being up here by myself, so me and Claire hung out in Edinburgh. She's actually still there. And that was really nice. Edinburgh's cool. Um, we just hung around, explored the center, met up with friends, and it was really nice to relax after, um, backpacking everywhere and um, yeah so overall it's been a really cool spring break and now I'm back and have to face the reality of stuff that needs to be done for Monday which isn't cool but whatever so I hope you guys um, are doing well and happy Easter bye